Good morning, YouTube. It is bright and sunny, and uh, I feel like it's already um, 85 degrees at 8 in the morning. Anyway, so you guys know that a couple of days ago, I picked up the uh, 2024 Harley Davidson Nightster Special. And um, I'm coming from a uh, Husqvarna or Husqvarna um, Swart Pillin 401. And uh, the gear that I have accumulated just doesn't suit to the new bike. And um, some people can make it work, but uh, I sure can't. So um, yesterday I was shopping around for a helmet, and um, I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to get. But obviously, I just went on the internet and um, looked at what suits the uh, the Nightster. So basically, uh, I shopped for a full face helmet and um, there's so much and you guys know that you can feel that that you know, you know where I'm coming from. There's so many helmets out there. Um, however, when I was trying on some Harley Davidson full face helmets, man, there's uh, there's nothing in there that fits me at the moment. So it has to be ordered and stuff. So um, and uh, if I do order it, I'm still not certain if what I order will fit me. So. Um, last night, and um, it was, uh, it's not a desperation and stuff, but I actually found the, ha I mean, the helmet that I want, the full face helmet that I want, and um, it's available in one of the local stores here. And so I went over there, looked at it, at the picture, and uh, they said that we can, we can get this thing to you like today. And I was like, sure, all right, because I got to ride tomorrow, Sunday and stuff. So uh, I really need to get this full face helmet. Anyway. So, 6 o'clock at night, they're going to close at 7. They called me up at 6 at night, and they said, it's here. And I was like, three hours ago or something like that. And they finally got it here, like, super fast, okay? So, without any further ado, guys, we have here the brand new, to me, but this is a uh, this, this, this is sign that's been out, uh, this... Uh, followed the v30 and so this is called the v31 okay and my size is xxl and um the color of this is uh blue and gray in graphics not not solid colors and stuff okay so let's take a look at it typical gray box with uh metal gray uh branding They gave me a free mask or a face mask. And then obviously you have um, manual. Nobody really reads that. You got YouTube, you know. And then this uh, nice bag right here. Helmet bag. Always cool to have. And here we go, guys. This is the first time I have ever bought a full face helmet. And um, to tell you the truth, it's kind of scary to wear them because you got nothing to protect the face and stuff, okay? Because it's full face. So, this, is, this has a uh, graphics of a spade. I like spade. If you can see my ring, that is a spade, okay? And then this thing is in matte color, matte gray, matte blue. And uh, the bike is uh, denim, so um, kind of matches, right? So it's not shiny or anything like that. So obviously you can put your mo Moto comps on this without any problem. There's a pocket there for the speakers and obviously using a... Um, full face helmet you have to use the full face mic that's uh you know that kind of has like the stem and stuff okay if you if you uh, are a cardo user like me that thing comes in a package okay so uh you can pop that in there um however i'm not really interested in putting a a, a comms device on this thing this is going to be like my go to the store type of helmet and stuff and i could you know pop on real quick and stuff you know so um 
this thing also has a visor, okay? Right there. And you can see that visor right there. And you can see that branding says there, uh, V31. And um, this thing has adjustments. I'm gonna come closer, okay, so you can see it, okay? As you can see right here, to the left and to the right, okay? Make sure I don't drop this thing. The left and the right has an adjustable level, okay? So this is all the way down, okay? And this, that, that stopper right there, you can adjust that, okay? So if I go one up or two up, two up here, obviously you gotta make sure that's even, okay? And then you close it down. So now your, your um, visor doesn't go all the way down, okay? And then you go all the way up to the third, which is the, the max. Okay, I think I'm already at the max here, okay? So that's, that is now right there. Not a whole lot of difference, but there is a difference, okay? So this, this helps those who's got like, you know, if, if, if your nose is too long or whatever, or whatever, I don't know, just by preference or something like that, I guess, or how much face you want to show or whatever, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, that's the pocket I was telling you guys about, where you can put the uh, you can put the uh, speaker right there. There's a there's a there's a cut right there already, and um, this thing right here has a um, tab here on the back, okay, and then with the ECE approval, okay. I think you can pop this. I don't know. I, 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 here you go. Yeah, you can pop it. I guess you can. I don't know. I don't know how, how to rock this, but uh, I think this goes around your loop belt or something like that or something. Okay? It has that nice V right there. Okay? If you don't know, most Vs in HJC is for retro. Okay? So you get that nice small uh, HJC branding right there. Okay? Nothing too loud. Okay? And then you got a double D ring right there. Okay? With that button. It always helps out. Really nice. Okay? Right there is the V31 branding, okay? And it has this, uh, I think it's just uh, fake leather, right? but still nice nice touch, you know, nice retro touch, you touch, okay? So, go back over there. Oh, by the way, these, uh, these things right here, you can attach like those bubble lenses on this, you know, if, if that's your style, okay? So that's ready for that. Okay, so I don't know how to rock this helmet, so I had to learn it last night. So I'm gonna show you how this thing is, uh, how this thing's gonna look good. Okay, because you know what's funny is like yesterday I was at the shop, I, I was at the helmet shop, and I was wearing the uh, regular mask, and I'm covering my face and stuff, and they were looking at me like I was crazy or whatever. So. I just, I, I, I learned that um, it's got to be rocked this way, so let's do it. Let me remove my earrings and stuff because this thing was, was a problem last night. I almost ripped my um, ear lobes off. So, you put this, uh, this tube mask on, okay? Obviously, you want the print out. And then, just go like that. Obviously, make sure you can see. Okay. This may be crooked or whatever. I don't know. Um, but uh, you get the idea. This, so this looks crooked. I don't know. I can't see anything. Okay. So once you get your... Um, Everything lined up in there. Just look in the mirror or whatever. Put this thing over your ear or something like that. Or else your ear is gonna, your ear is gonna flip. Okay, so put it like that. And then get your helmet. Undo the D-ring.
hold it by the uh, by the straps. Pop that guy in there. Fix this thing a little bit. Okay. Then obviously, you know, make sure you got your gloves off because it's really, really hard to lock the D-rings with, uh, with gloves on. And so this is what, I'm, what I was telling you guys about. See, this is that level. This is the highest level of the, of the stopper right here. And then we're gonna drop this thing down a little bit. It's kind of tricky to, 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 to put it down, but you have to press it and then push down, okay? And this is the level that I like it to be, okay? See, so there you go, guys. This is exactly how this thing is rocked, you know? Let me come closer. There you go, guys. I think it looks pretty cool, but I'm not, I can't really see myself or anything like that. So um, I'm gonna go turn around. You guys can see the back. See the sides. Front. Other side. Okay, I'm gonna go right here further away. So you got the front, you got the side, you got the back, you got the left side, and back to the front. I think this, uh, this thing looks pretty cool, guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I don't know um, how it's gonna be like riding or riding fast in this. Obviously, um, there are some big risks in um, wearing a full face helmet, okay? Because there's no protection for the chin in case the inevitable happens or whatever. So you gotta think about that, okay? So that's why I was telling you guys a while ago that this helmet right here is not something that I'm gonna be wearing if I'm gonna go like really far high speeding on a highway or whatever, or just speeding in a highway or whatever, you know, because this thing right here could, could be, could be, could be bad and stuff. And I got the other helmet, the, um, that I can use for that. The one that has a, a protection and stuff. So, um, just, just a side note or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So guys, I'm going to remove this thing right now and, um, same thing, undo the tab, undo the D-ring. And then kind of um, open this thing uh, a little bit by pulling the uh, straps and then pull it out, okay? And there you have it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the V31 by HJC. Dope helmet and uh, got that retro vibe. And uh, hope to see you guys out there on the road, man. Ride safe.